hi 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 it's Tahia here with another tutorial so in this tutorial I will teach you guys about the three concepts in the design of an IT product uh, which are wireframe mockup and prototype and how um, an BA will implement this and without further ado let's jump right to the tutorial Okay, and so in this tutorial, I will walk you through like the difference and internet uh, tutorials. I will uh, teach you how to implement it in your work. Um, so, see an article on um, on Planet UX Planet. I will provide you the link below. Okay, so um, now to the first concept, which is the wireframe. So let's go through its definition. So, a wireframe is a low fed fidelity way of showing the design. It's a graphic representation of the app uh, or a website containing the most essential uh, elements and the content. Uh, it's kind of like the blueprint of a building. Okay, and so um, a wireframe would look like this one. Okay. And to implement this one, you will use um, a product that I uh, normally use, what which is called um, Bosomic. Okay, and this is how it looks like. And here are some design that I have been working on my current project. Um, so you can see here, it's just like a facade of um, our application to have the designer to get an idea of how they can implement the app. So this is kind of like the first step um, and mostly the business analyst or the product owner will take part in designing this uh, type of um, design okay so yeah so that's the first one okay so the next one is the mockup so after you got the uh, wireframe here and you start to transfer this wireframe to the designer of the app and um, after they get an idea they will um, you know create a mockup from the wireframe that you de um, that you design so um, to the definition so a mockup is a visual way of rep representing a product um, so the wireframe is a structure and so the mockup will show how it actually look like um, how it will show up in the app yeah but still the mockup is not clickable um, so there is no interaction here yet so um, and from the previous tutorial I will show you I, I, I already show you what a mockup look like um, so this is uh, what people call mockup Lord and Lanier right here yeah it's kind of like a music app and in our project so the mockup is actually this one you see so each of this screen would be considered as a mockup yeah so this mockup look like okay and you can uh, view the elements and it would have the developer to um, perfectly uh, fix the design to the screen okay and the last one is prototype so um, the a prototype is often a high fidelity representation of the final product which is meant to simulate the user interaction so um, it is kind of like the next step of the mockup but it also has the interaction and clickable so it's very useful for you to demonstrate uh, the product in, in front of the stakeholder um, or to transfer the requirement of the app to the developers and the team so this is what the mockup look like yeah, it's kind of like a design that you can click on it. Okay, and so back to our uh, projects we're working on here. I actually just uh, create the um, create a prototype from this um, from our mockups. So this is how it look like. Okay, just wait a minute. Okay, so um, now we go to the 
splash screen what you know it is splash screen and then um, here you can click on this one I have input the introduction here so you click on this one it will go to the next um, slide of the carousel okay and skip here it will uh, go to the dashboard a dashboard um, it will show how the app actually work so in order to order a burger you will let this as a car uh, was it to payment and then add a payment pay now proceed to payment and the order has been successfully placed and you go back to the dashboard yeah so this is how the um, prototype look like uh, after you have the mockup so that it is it's very simple and easy um, in the next tutorial I will uh, show you how to uh, create each of these mm, design so uh, stay tuned and if you think this video is helpful please like subscribe to support my channel I really appreciate it and see you in the next video bye